So just a quick little run through with my bike here. What I've done is I've got a Rocky Mountain Fusion, which is a 2016. Um, on the front, I mounted a 500 watt motor, electric motor. That is the battery pack there, which is lithium ion. Now, the difference is, is that back up underneath here, now I'm not going to show you a unit, but what I did is I actually had somebody fabricate a DC to DC charger. But not only is it the charger, it's a charger, booster, inverter, it does everything and only uses a couple of middle amp, milliamps. So my solar panels here, which is 120 watts, each panel on here is four panels that are 30 watts each. It's 120 watts and now it's feeding through that unit up to the battery. So it is constantly charging even as I'm riding. Now, when I leave in the morning with a fully charged battery, so I can still plug it into the wall to a 115 volt outlet and charge it right up. Then, over the course of the day, as long as the sun keeps up, I'm laughing. Uh, I can ride all bloody day long. Uh, even on a day like this, which is somewhat overcast in spots and so on, I'm still getting enough charge to keep it topped up. Um, as I use bike. Uh, I use the power to, to go up hills and so on, and it assists me every once in a while. It's not always on. It's a good system. It works really well. Now, what really make the make or break was the DC to DC unit I had made and put down to my 36 volts. So there you go. If uh, anybody really is interested, contact me. I might put you through to the information. Um,